Hey guys, Eric with Veris Engineering here and on today's install manual video we're going to be doing the fuel starvation door in the shop BRZ. Um, this car does not have the factory engine but it will still uh, suffer from fuel starvation in high G left hand turns so we're going to install it on this custom return style uh, basket. However, I still have to remove the OEM one so I'll do the whole install manual for you. Uh, really easy. Um, we need a 10 millimeter socket, need a small flathead screwdriver and some needle nose pliers. And then in the kit, you'll have uh, a fuel starvation door with a sticker. Um, let's get to this install. Maybe a little difficult to see, but there is a 10 millimeter bolt right here that holds the back seat in. We're just gonna remove that. And then remove the back seat. With the seat out of the way, we can now pull this piece up and off, which sometimes can be a pain in the butt. With this up, we're gonna remove the, uh, the electrical connector and get that out of the way. So this is basically what you will be seeing. Uh, we're going to be removing the fuel next, which is uh, basically you squeeze this clip and then push it out. And then we will also be removing this ring to then pull the whole basket out. Uh, we'll use a screwdriver and uh, a dead blow hammer to do that. As you pull this out, uh, be careful of the fuel level sensor. You can't accidentally snap it off. Just be careful. And then as you get it up, you're going to have this uh, fuel line from the other side of the tank gonna have to disconnect that as well. I have both uh, fuel baskets out of the car. Uh, I'll be transferring the parts from this unit to this one so you kind of get to see me do it twice almost. But Basically, it's time to take this all apart so that we can get access to the fuel door, which is right around here. It's great to do this in a well-ventilated area as the fuel smell does definitely get to you a little bit. But we're basically gonna start on this side. Uh, you can see there's a little snap ring here. Grab it, pull it off. And when that's off, this should be able to pull up and out. And at this point, you can already see the fuel door, which is right there. And we're gonna pull that out and then put it in that one. So this is what the needle knows the floor for. And just like that, you can pull it out. All right, I'm gonna do the best job I can. So basically this is where the fuel door goes. This little cutout in the fuel door, you're gonna grab that with the needle nose like so. The O-ring side faces the side that will actually touch the fuel basket and then once it's in place like so, you're gonna hear a positive click and it's done. That's how simple it is. Now it's basically just reinstall in reverse order. Now that this is back together, it's time to put it back in the car. Okay, so we're working back in the car now. Basically just install it exactly how you took it out. Um, the big things to remember, connect the, the lower nipple to the, to the hose in the tank and then uh, as you install it, don't let this guy get 
um, deformed or cr crinked um, as you install it because this can get ripped very easily. Um, just go carefully, go slow. It's definitely going to be a pain in the butt. And then tighten that and then uh, give it a few hits with a hammer and uh, a screwdriver. All right, at this point, you're basically done. Uh, connect all the fuel lines back up. If you did disconnect a fuse to run the fuel pump out of uh, pressure before you disconnected the line, which is a great idea, you plug that in now. Um, give it a start. If, if everything's good to go, uh, button up the back seat and uh, go for a drive. Have fun. Thanks for following us and uh, Thanks for watching our install manual and tune in next time. Thanks.